find the complex numbers in the form z is equal to x plus i y x and y epsilon are satisfying the equation z squared is equal to 2i minus 2 so we have z is equal to x plus i y and z squared is equal to x plus i y x plus i y if we square this so now this is equal to x squared plus 2i x y minus y squared so this is equal to x squared minus y squared plus 2i x y now this is the um, real part real part and this is the imaginary part so now so we have minus 2 plus 2i must equal to x squared minus y squared plus 2i x y now this must equal this so this is must equal now the real part the real part must also equal so we have minus 2 is equal to x squared minus y squared so this is 2 is equal to 2xy or xy is equal to 1 or y is equal to we put the x on the other side so 1 over x so we have minus 2 is equal to x squared minus y squared minus 2 is equal to x squared now y squared is equal y is equal to this so if we if we square it then it becomes 1 over x squared so now we uh, multiply everything by x squared so we have minus 2x squared is equal to x to the fourth because two times two x to the fourth minus one so if you multiply everything by x squared so this normal denominator so now we put everything on this side so we have so we add plus two x squared so zero is equal to um, x to the fourth plus this become plus if you put it on this side 2x squared minus 1 so now we have this equation so so we let so we have to solve this equation 2x i x to the fourth plus 2x squared minus 1 so we let um so we substitute substitute u is equal to x squared so this means that um, u squared plus 2u minus 1 is equal to 0 so now we can use the um, quadratic formula to solve for u so we have a is equal to 1 b is equal to 2 and c is equal to negative one so the quadratic formula is x is equal to minus b plus and minus square root of b squared minus 4ac and this is all over 2a so now we plug in our numbers so this is equal to minus 2 plus and minus square root of minus 2 squared minus 4 times 1 times minus 1 
and this is all, all over 2 times 1. So now this is equal to minus 2 plus and minus square root of 2 times 2 is 4 plus 4 times 1 and a 1 is a 4 and there are 2 minus signs so it's positive and on the bottom we have a 2 so now we have 2 plus and minus 4 plus 4 is 8 all over 2 now square root of 8 is equal to square root of 4 times the square root of 2 and this is 2 root 2 so now we um, replace um, square root of 8 to 2 root 2 so this is equal to minus 2 plus and minus 2 root 2 all over 2 now this is equal to now the 2's and this so this become minus 1 plus and minus square root of 2 so now we have u the value of u so u equals so we continue here so from here we go up here so we have u is equal to minus plus and minus minus 1 plus and minus square root of 2 now this means that um, um, if we break it into 2 so this is u is equal to minus 1 plus the square root of 2 and minus 1 minus square root of 2 now we just um, take the um, positive so we don't take that so we have u is equal to negative 1 plus the square root of 2 that means that x squared is equal to negative 1 plus square root of 2 that means that x is equal to plus and minus square root of minus 1 plus the square root of 2 so we have um, square root um, under the square root so you know that y is equal to 1 over x we solved that one earlier over here so y is equal to 1 over x so now z is equal to x plus i y and z is equal to minus 1 plus the square root of 2 plus i and 1 over the square root of minus 1 plus the square root of 2 and now the negative side the negative 1 is equal to minus minus 1 plus the square root of 2 minus i 1 over the square root of negative 1 plus the square root of 2 so here is the um answer so this is the answer so we just um put in what is the value of x we found the value of x here so we put it in now plus i and then the value of y is equal to 1 over x so y 1 over now the x is equal to this so we put it in this 